What's up, YouTube bro, man? This is the kid, DC Wrestling, here to bring you all your August 8th, 2022 edition of Monday Night Raw in Cleveland, Ohio. Pretty good show tonight, I thought. Like, really, really good show tonight. We kick things off, though, with, of course, Bailey and her girls, Bailey, EO e Sky, and Dakota Kai. Do they have a name yet? I, I don't know if they have a name yet. Control? I, I think, I don't know. But anyways, um, pretty much they just talk about, you know, calling talking trash to Bianca Belair, Alexa, and Asuka, and they come out, and, you know, Bianca and them are like, look look here, like, you, you, th you, you three ladies want to go at it. All right, well, here's what we're going to do. It's going to be us three and you three at Clash the Castle. So, yeah. Um, let's do it. You know, Bailey and the, the girls want to do it. They end up brawling. Pretty good brawl. And, uh, by the way, they do announce that they, there will be a tournament. Like, they announce people in the tournament to decide on, you know, obviously who's going to win the titles. And one of the people who are actually going to be in the tournament is Nakia Lyons and uh, Zoe Stark. Really surprised that they're in the tournament, considering the fact that, well, they're on NXT 2.0, and it's like, you know, NXT got their own tag team title, so I wonder what they doing in the tournament. But anyways, that's interesting, in my opinion. Uh, we get Seth Rollins and Angelo Dawkins. This is actually the first match of the night. Man, this is a pretty, pretty solid opener, man. Y'all, y'all, I keep telling people this. Well, people got to understand, man, I know everyone loves Montez Ford, future world champion, all that good stuff, but man, we got to stop sleeping on Angelo Dawkins, man, because he's a, he's a cool dude in and of itself, man. Uh, Seth Rollins does get the win, though, but Dawkins showed out tonight. Uh, after that, man, well, we were supposed to get a match between Kevin Owens and Ezekiel, but this... I don't know if if Kevin Owens woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning or maybe on his way to the arena someone pissed him off or he still can't get out of his head that Elias is Ezekiel. But this he beat Ezekiel up, bro. Like, Kevin Owens messed Ezekiel up. I mean, power bombing him, kicking him, stomping him, hurting him. I'm just like, dang, Kevin, like, good Lord, my man. Like, you going in on Ezekiel. Uh and it was weird because later on in the night, Kevin Owens was like, he he was like um, talking about, obviously, how, well, it's the Kevin Owens show. It's back. So I'm like, yeah, it clearly is. You beating down Ezekiel. Uh, and, they, and Ezekiel is was sent to local medical facility, so hopefully he gets better. So before we get Rey Mysterio and Finn Balor, uh, we get a promo from Priest. And Priest challenges Edge to a match. Two weeks in Edge's hometown of Toronto. And, of course, we all know Edge is going to accept. So, that should be good. Edge versus Damian Priest in Toronto. That should be a really good show, let alone a really good match. They need to have that main event to show. If you don't have that main event to show, what are you doing, WWE? Speaking of the Judgment Day, we got Rey Mysterio versus Finn Balor. Another thing I want to touch on before this, they had a, a freaking Dominic push Edge because he's clearly upset after what happened. And... It looked like Ray was going to get the win over Finn, but we saw Rhea Ripley beating up Dominic, so it was just like Ray couldn't handle that, so he, Finn Balor was able to take advantage. But another really good match, I thought, from Finn Balor and uh, Ray Mysterio. All right, we had a tag team match player. This was the women's tag team match qualifier match. This was Dakota Kai and Io Sky versus Tamina and Dana Brooke. No offense to these four women. I didn't really care for this match. This match wasn't really all that. Kind of plus, like, everybody knew Dakota and EO Sky were going to get the win. So, yeah. And, and I forgot to mention, man, what was up? With, well, as we kind of saw what happened at the end of the night, um, freaking stuff was going on with uh, <laughs> uh, Nikki Cross and, I mean, Nikki A.S.H., excuse me, and Dewdrop's vehicle. They were like, hey, man, like, what happened? But, um we have Bobby Lashley versus Champa for the United States Championship. I really liked how Champa dedicated this match to the late Harley Race. This was a really great match, man. This was match of the night for me. Um, I know a lot of people are like, man, well, Bobby Lashley, why would he win? This was Champa's time. Like, I personally thought having Lashley win the match, I thought it was pretty good, man. Like, Champa, y'all got to calm down. I get y'all want to, oh, we're in this Triple H era, so he needs to push his boys. Relax, y'all, man. Champa's gonna get his moment. I don't know when, but he's gonna win a title one day. Y'all gotta relax, okay? 
Bobby Lashley's the man, and he showed it tonight, man. Bobby was over when he put uh, Champa in that uh, hurt lock. But uh, we got Omas defeating two jobbers. So, you know, watch the match, obviously. Um, after that, we had uh, Chad Gable and Dolph Ziggler. Man, these guys are wrestling their hearts out for this one, man. So Dolph Ziggler actually got the win, and he got the win in his hometown. So that was I know that was a cool night for uh, Dolph Ziggler. Sorry if you heard that drop. My camera dropped. <laughs> Good Lord. But anyway, speaking of uh, things getting dropped, we got AJ Styles and The Miz. This was the main event. This was a no DQ match, and uh, this is a pretty solid main event. You know, AJ Styles does get the win. Um, as we see, there were guards like holding someone down. Even AJ was looking over and everyone's thinking, what's going on? Did, did, did something going on with a fan or anything? But it was Dexter Loomis. And it's just so weird, man. Like Dexter Loomis, he, he was actually rumored earlier today that WWE was planning on bringing him back. I know a lot of you all were actually like saying that, oh, well, you know, they're in Cleveland, so Gargano's going to show up. Well, he didn't show up, you know, so... Uh, I, I personally was like, if he shows up, he shows up. If he don't, he don't. Like, I'm trying not to... You know, I know these wrestlers are coming back to the company now, but like, I'm trying not to set my expectations too high. And uh, overall, just you know, I thought it was a good show tonight. Some may say it was a great show tonight for Monday Night Raw. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Monday Night Raw, this has been the Kid DC Wrestling and so on. Yeah.